Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Jennifer Lin, and I'm Senior Director of Product Marketing with Cisco's Connected Energy Networks Business Unit. I have the pleasure of being here today with Dave Geyer, Vice President of Electric Operations for San Diego Gas and Electric. Dave oversees the planning, design, and engineering of SDG&E's distribution, transmission, and substation facilities. He's also responsible for operating SDG&E's transmission and distribution grid. Dave, thanks very much for joining us today to share your thoughts as we build upon our connected grid portfolio to help utilities modernize their electric grid. Dave, can you tell us a little bit about uh, SDG&E's grid modernization plans? Well, good morning, Jennifer, and uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting times, actually. We're, we're well on our way as far as our, our grid modernization plan. Um, we've installed smart meters on all 1.4 million customers we have. Uh, we have a very high dependence on all of our SCADA data to sort of operate our transmission and distribution system on a daily basis. Um, we're installing uh, condition-based maintenance, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, equipment in our substations. And uh, really, it's going to bring back data that's going to help us operate those substations much more efficiently. Um, we're also in the process of rolling out a, um, a microgrid. It's really exciting projects. We're going to improve reliability for our community uh, by, by taking using all the latest technology. We're going to use uh, uh, solar. We're going to have wind in, in this facility. We're going to have backup generation. We're going to have battery technology. So all the tools actually to improve reliability in this community. Uh, at the same time, we're changing out all of our core business systems also. We're putting a new GIS system in. Uh, we're building a new, new outage management system, a new DMS system. So a lot of change going on, and it is very exciting times. And I think, uh, as you mentioned, the convergence of all this data is going to be very, very important. Um, to be able to take data in from multiple sources, allow it to come back quickly into our way, and, and make some decisions to allow us to operate our grid. Excellent, Dave. Thanks. Cisco very much appreciates SDG&E's commitment to grid modernization, as well as on execution with standards-based <clears throat> technologies in the transmission and distribution grid. I believe we're working together on lots of things, including phaser measurement unit uh, architectures, <clears throat> substation automation, and integration of renewables. Our latest efforts are really focused around the field area networks and, and your plans to optimize cost and enable new services in a converged network infrastructure. Dave, can you tell us a little bit more about your reasons to go with Cisco's connected grid routers as part of your grid communication systems uh, field trials? Well, Jennifer, we, we believe we sort of are on the leading edge of all this technology. And uh, bottom line is we just needed a solid partner. Uh, we, we knew that from a technology point of view, we needed a rugged, cost-effective router that we could put out in the field. And the way things work is we never quite know what we're going to connect to that router. So uh, we just know that we have data out there we need to bring back into our WAN for analysis. Um, uh, so Cisco gave us a great opportunity, actually. We were able to work with uh, your engineers and designers. We actually worked on some of the specs of this device, uh, every, everything from uh, you know, some of the software to the, the case itself. Uh, and, and allow us really to have upfront and really develop a product which I think will really work well in the utility industry. Um, we, we also know that Cisco's in for the long run. We're not really sure where we're going to go with all this technology, but we know a decade from now we will have a smart grid. We'll have a lot of data points out there, and we're confident that uh, Cisco will be around to help us with that. Uh, and, and just your track record, if you look at uh, uh, the ability to securely manage data and, and to move data, uh, around, you've been doing that for 20 years, and, and we're, we're, we really think that uh, uh, just a solid player there. And uh, you know, bottom line is we're, we've seen some of the prototypes, and we like what we see. Great. We really do count on smart and progressive customers like SDG&E to focus the industry ecosystem. No one company is going to do it uh, on their own. And there's lots of new challenges like you know, onboarding of things uh, like sensor networks, integration of renewables, and more importantly, analytics to really help support and improve grid operations. SDG has been a strong advocate of a multi-service architecture approach that enables multiple utility applications to run on a converged infrastructure, really addressing both the CapEx and OpEx challenges. And your latest filing shows uh, really how serious you are about improving your core business and also empowering and enabling, enabling your customers. Uh, SDG e has been actively involved in helping uh, define Cisco's solution around the field area network since the inception. Dave, how do you see Cisco's connected grid solutions really helping SDG &E, uh, achieve some of your milestones ahead? Well, Jennifer, as, um, as we hook up new technology, whether that's through the intermittent uh, new photovoltaics or wind generation, uh, all, all the new loads also, all the electric vehicles, uh, we, we know that the grid's just going to have to get a lot smarter and our decision making is going to have to be a lot quicker. 
Uh, and we really think that flexibility is the key here. And we, we think that the product you've developed uh, is going to give us that flexibility. I, I can't tell you today how many data points we're going to have out there. You know, it's going to be at least tens of thousands, if not more than that. And in some sense, we have 1.4 million data points already with our smart meters. So uh, a, a lot of work to go, go forward. And uh, I think the flexibility is the key. Um, and, and that flexibility in the end is going to help us manage our grid in a safe and reliable manner. Dave, sincere thanks again for being here uh, today to help share your thoughts around Cisco's connected grid solutions. Thank you, Jennifer. We feel that this approach you know, is really setting a new bar for the industry, and we're proud to be working with com uh, customers like SDG&E. Our goal is really to help our customers achieve their operational improvement goals and offer the next level of service for their customers. Thanks to uh, all of you out there also for watching today.